the show for men by men. In the men's room with Baz and Jeremy. Is anyone in there? Like, go away, I'll punch you in the freaking liver. Excuse me, the men's room is occupied. Yeah. And now for your hosts, Baz Rutten and Jeremy St. Ives. <laughs> hey, what up, man? We. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Boss Rutten. And I'm Jack. And welcome to the man's room. Yeah, where men can hang out. Okay, now, and tonight in the man's room, we're going to get personal. On this show, we're going to be discussing a lot, a lot of aspects of health, especially how to endanger the health of others with others. Did you? Not me. Artists. Now, we've got relationship advice, like how to avoid bruising the face. We're going to take some calls, advising women on how to deal with their men. But that's, that's pretty easy, right? I mean, it's just the thing that you need to do is a click to the groin right there. And when your body connects with the reproductive organs of another man, let me tell you, buddy, it's pain and beauty. Also, we have a special, and we call that special, the cubicle, the copier, and stabbing a co-worker in the eye with a little pencil. <laughs> like, like this. Look at the blood, look at the blood, look at the blood. <laughs> this is going to be an unbelievable show. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be discussing rectal marital age. Oh, shut up. First off, I want to talk to you about a second to learn, see if I can teach you how to understand your anger. Now, anger is the death of so many men. Hmm. Heart problems, health problems, boldness, impotence, waking up in the middle of the night with your hands covered in blood and you have no idea what happened. Hmm. Listen, I've been around. Anger, it's a four letter word, and boy, does that bring you down. Channel that anger into something positive, like beating the shit out of little guys. Oh. Bah, bah, bah. No, Baz, no, that's, that's not nice. Hey, listen, we all hate it to be ignored, right? Some people try yoga or putting neon under the car, whatever that does. But getting the point across in this life is easier than you think. Dunk, 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 <laughs> just like that. Are you listening, sir, now? Are you listening? Do you see me now? Ha, I bet you he is going to see you. You want to get manhandled? Buck, buck, buck! This usually works for me. What about you? Man, you are really pent up. Yes. You know, you should try some aromatherapy. Hey, listen, the only aroma that I like is the smell of burning flesh. Oh. <laughs> you understand? Take it the other day. I was walking, uh, talking to a friend of mine on the phone a long time ago. He was telling me how he liked the respect and attention from the fellow school teachers in school. Uh, what do you do if you don't get respect? Okay, so I told him, the way you get a man's attention is by doing the unexpected. But just like that, you see? It works with him, works for you. You know, you walk down the street, all nice. And looky look, what do we have here? Oh, it's the lamppost. Oh, this is your head. I smack your lamppost against it. Do you like that? Do you see me now, huh? Do you see me now? Okay. I think now, in this teacher's lounge, trust me, those people there, they know he's around. Nobody will ignore him anymore. And if a woman walks by, the only thing you need to do, whip it out and say, what are we going to do about this? I'm telling you, people cower under their desks. When he's nearby, man, it's much better. Yeah, charmed, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, hey, Baz, I think we need to take a commercial break. We'll be back in the men's room. Remember, don't tap your foot under the stall. 911, what is your emergency? Oh, I think my heart stopped. The left side of my face has gone numb. Are you calling for Burger Shot? The Heart Stopper, the all new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six pound burger you can't live without. The Heart Stopper, seven patties, six pounds of meat and cheese. You'll be flatlined in five seconds flat. Mm, this is a fucking good burger. Drive in, take out, Burger Shot. Die with a smile on your face. It's back. The groundbreaking formulaic cliffhanger 72. Can Judd Parker save the world from terrorists by staying up for three days and torturing every person of color he can find? I hope so. 
The cliffhanger begins soon, only on Weasel. And now, we're back in the place where your mom's phone number is scrawled in the stall, The Men's Room with Baz and Jeremy. Who's on line three? Yeah. Hey, uh, am I on? This is Mike. What's up, Mike? I tell you what, Baz. My boy Jeff, he is your number one fan. Are you Good. sure he's in the joint right now, but he'll be out in a couple of years. Man, you really put a lot of great advice in your show. Thank I mean you. it. You know, Thank you. you got to put yourself first or people will put you second, you know? I mean, history has some great examples of that. Thanks, Mike, and thanks, Jeff. Now... A lot of people in the joint should learn from my advice. You are the boss or you are the bitch. Mm -hmm. That is the name of my next book. I don't believe in an eye for an eye. Oh, no, because boss believes in an eye for two eyes. Or better yet, an eye for two eyes and an ear and a spleen. And maybe a new shirt because this one is covered in entrails. Like that! Who wants to knife fight with me in the audience? Who wants to knife fight with me in the audience? Fast! Fast! Cowards! Fast! You sound really constipated. You know, I had a colon cleansing. It was really fantastic. Man, I had so much fecal matter impacted inside of me. Oh, it was such a drag. I tell you what boss says will clean you right out. A nail gun. Bop, bop, bop! And then I grab a circle of saw and then I cut off your arm. Uh, Just like it. And I start hitting with the wet part of the arm. I'm on a construction motif right now. Okay, let's go to the phones. So, who's on line five? Hey, man. My name's Jack. I'm a big fan of the show since you What's came up? back on air. I have a question. Is cyber sex cheating? Like, I've got a video camera up to my junk and I'm in a chat room all lubed up. All my online friends say my junk looks amazing. My hobby doesn't hurt anyone, but my wife's divorcing me. I tell you, I hate the internet. It's for cats and pedophiles, and it's for girly men who want to trick bus. And let me tell you, it's not like real life. I love myonlineme.com. You know, you can really get in touch with yourself by building a little virtual character and uh, building him a house and making him go to the bathroom and watching him sleep. You know what? I hate it. That's what I do. I walked up to the people in virtual reality and I can't break their legs. What good is virtual reality if you can't make people? <laughs> it's bullshit. You know what this is, Jeremy? What? What's this? What's this? that? That's toilet paper. Absolutely right. You have to realize that everything around you is a weapon. Mm. Toilet paper, spoons, a hacksaw. If you're in a lot of trouble, you have real ultimate power. Listen, and you will learn. Now, let me tell you, I've been around. I was in a bar once, and I said something to this drag queen, and she kicked me in the nuts. Can you believe <laughs> that? Now, listen, I don't take shit from nobody, especially a man who dresses as a woman. So I grab her by the fucking hair, and I bounce her head. <laughs> Okay, who's in charge now, huh? So suddenly this guy comes out and he attacks me. I grab a beer bowl, pack, break it on the table, stab it in his face. Yeah, yeah. He's bleeding everywhere and down he goes and he had glass in his eye. Dry queen screams, oh, what's going on? I need to come. I look at him in the eye and I say, listen, buddy, this day of misery has just begun. Right in their fucking face. And another guy comes to me with a pool cue. Uh oh, oh, not enough weapons now. Okay, say, listen, are you gonna do something with that? And I slid his throat. Over and out. He was gurgling, and then I licked his face, and I started laughing. Ha ha! And the bartender, it was unbelievable. Fuck you, bartender. I walked outside, I get on the motorcycle, and I get back to my house. Finally, when I was home, I took a long, warm bubble bath. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. Well, we're straight out of time. Uh, see you next time in the men's room. The Men's Room, brought to you by... The Alco Patch. It's the same refreshing feeling of your favorite drink, but delivered transdermally and discreetly. Pick up the Alco Patch at your local pharmacy. Get ready to put your family to sleep. Weasel presents a whole new season of Ether. 
Your ringtone defines who you are and how much money you have. So take bling to the next level with Audio Bling. It's VIP luxury ringtones. Oh, they've got that dragon brain ringtone. I've got the science of crime ringtone. Now everyone knows I'm as boring as a show. VIP luxury ringtones, including extreme tones like a person being beheaded or diamonds. A old bitch falling and breaking her hip. <gasps> Wow, that's dope! VIP luxury ringtones. Only 100 bucks. Be an individual. Get a VIP luxury ringtone today. Visit VIPLuxuryRingtones.com Recorded live from Liberty City at the home of the six drink minimum, the famous Split Sides Comedy Club presents all the way from London, Europe, Mr. Ricky Gervais! Hi. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. I've been thinking a lot about war recently. A lot of it about. A lot of bad stuff in the world. Someone's always at war. And I was thinking, what's my favourite war? Vietnam. Best soundtrack. <laughs> Definitely. Second World War. Best ending. <laughs> what a finale. You know it's over when <laughs> you can't follow that. That's the end. People are worried about that, though, because the atomic bomb, oh, it ended a war, which is good, but the effects are still being felt, which is bad. And it was invented by Einstein, and he's a genius. In his uh, 1907 paper, Einstein said that light could be described as discrete bundles of energies, that when irradiated, and, oh, what sort of cunt thinks like that, really? <laughs> I mean, that's what turns Stephen Hawking's mental. Too much thinking. I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure. The universe is expanding. Yeah, of course it is, Stephen. <laughs> Take a day off. Go for a walk. Or, not a walk, but open a window. Watch a bit of TV. Robot Wars is on. You like that, don't you? She'll go, oh, you can't have a go at Stephen Hawking. He's a genius. He's not a genius. He's pretentious. Born in England and talks with an American accent. <laughs> Cambodia. That was a good one. Pol Pot. He killed a hundred thousand people. He rounded up a hundred thousand people and he killed them because they were what he called intellectuals. And that was his threat. And do you know how he told whether they were intellectual or not? Was whether they wore glasses. If they're that clever, take them off when they see him coming. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, well Kierkegaard, here comes Pol Pot. All right? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. Yeah, good, yeah. Oh, thank you, Mr. Pot. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm thick, as you can see. I'm th him over there, look. Oh, oh, I'm kill him. Falklands War. That's probably my favourite. People say it was a conflict. It was a war. And it's my favourite because it was a range war. And what that means is that the Argentinian guns could fire nine kilometres, whereas the British guns could fire 17 kilometres. So we just parked our boats about 10 kilometres away. And theirs were falling into the water, while we were shelling the shit out of them. It's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. <laughs> right. And he's flailing, and just missing, and you're just steady kicking the bollocks. Ow! Smack! Ow! Smack! People go, oh, you mustn't have a go at midgets. Why not? <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> you mustn't have a go at fundamentalist terrorists. They're the scary ones. Midgets, do what you want. <laughs> Thanks very much. Good night. Mr. Ricky Gervais! Critics are raving about how the West was won on Weasel. Running horses, justified genocide, big bosoms and chip face shootouts are coming to Tuesdays on the next season of Spittoon. Don't miss it. doing sitting in your car in the driveway staring at your phone are your pants on buckle it's the whiz wireless video package watch all your favorite movies on your phone on demand at home at work while stuck in traffic adult titles too you won't want to get out of your car honey the neighbors are calling the police whiz wireless do the social vibe it's what a man needs. Excelsior. Extreme.
Extreme 9. The Excelsior Extreme 9. Nine blades of glory. Facial hair makes you look like a pervert or a hobo, or someone covering a scar he got tossing salad in the joint. Now take your shaving to the extreme. It's a sports car, power lift, expensive watch on a Mediterranean beach of a shave at turbo quality levels. Technology has arrived at the razor's edge. Excelsior Extreme 9. It's the show that may save your life. How to survive when there's a suitcase nuke on your train. Can you and your family afford to miss it? Republican Space Rangers! Intergalactic War on Terror But don't worry about collateral damage or error Cause we're nuke and hate, we're spreading freedom and liberty Sometimes, Sometimes we, we kill, kill with undue undo glee Oh, was that your home? Sorry! Gotta complete the mission And possibly deny extraordinary additions Spreading American values Sometimes you gotta bomb an orphanage or two Republican Space Rangers! When strangers you've never met threaten your way of life, who do you call? Republican Space Rangers! They are Butch, Commander, and Dick! When we last met the Rangers, they were in a perilous situation on the planet Sphera, encountering strange beings while heroically protecting Earth from unknown dangers. The saga continues. Republican Space Rangers, shoot first and ask questions never! Space Rangers, we have never heard of your planet Earth or your sponsor, Piss Wasser. But we welcome you to our planet. We are agrarian and do not have much but what we have, you may share. Huh? What's he saying? Man, that's gibberish. Fuck if I know. He's speaking some kind of weird gibber jabber space dialect with long words. Dialect, smilect. I don't trust the son of a bitch. Besides, it looks queer to me. And if we don't fight him here, they'll follow us to America and pollute the blessed homeland. You know the drill, boys. Your strange religion and foreign ways threaten our freedoms! Dan, you look fruity like... like you got a wide stance, you know? But, but this is my home, brothers. Here it is you who is strange. Can't we all get along? What's he saying, man? This alien sure speaks crap. Hey, I blame Glace Ola! Hey, listen up, shit for brains! The time for peaceful negotiations is over! You heard the boss, asshead hole! You know what time it is, baby! It's time to die! Please. <laughs> Make sure you get the children! They'll just turn into insurgents themselves! Hey, them youngins is running into that alien orphanage! It seems to me we've uncovered a terror plot! Innocent people back home will suffer, I repeat! They will suffer! Shit! Hey there, Commander. This here nuke is armed and on your go, baby. That's 10-4. Let's get on the ship and vaporize these SLBs. Yeah, baby! Uh, all right. Another round, boys. You deserve it. Well, uh, you are heroes today. And I say, with a tear in my eye, Mission accomplished! Hoorah! Hoorah! Democracy is a gift to the universe. Those alien kids learned a valuable lesson today. Oh, oh, oh. I got a breach in the airlock. Oh, oh, hey. God oh, There was it. a report from Fort Ass. General shit's on his way. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, soldier! You are specifically prohibited from firing off air biscuits! Hey! hey. What's that up ahead? Oh, yeah. Oh. This, uh... Wait you a idiot! You're Hold looking up. at the microwave oven! Look at the screen! Oh, I'm sorry, Commander. I was cooking me up a quesadilla. Hey, this here registers as a strange planet on the Insurgent Scan. Well, it's on the map. Fuck if I can pronounce the name. No surprise there, but I say we take no chances anyway. Let's give them eight kinds of hell, Butch! Fire it off! With pleasure, sir! I never get tired of seeing that. Well done, fellers. Put a note in the log. Encounter terrorist threat. Commence to liquidize same enemy. Freed mankind. And I'm recommending both of you sons of bitches for some more 
medals and shit. Oh, thank you, Commander! Hey, listen, can we, uh, can we shower together later? Indubitably! But only after we play space volleyball and work ourselves up a man-sized sweat! Oh, man, y'all know I ain't good at no volleyball. Hush. Don't ruin it. It's too tender. Oh, I got something on the insurgent scan again. Hey, readings indicate minerals and gold. <laughs> well, boys, lock and load. Let's have ourselves a look see what he said. Remember, if we meet any strangers, kill them. I bet these punks have no capacity whatsoever for peaceful coexistence, drive through liquor stores, gun shops, or the democratic freedom to have their votes discarded in swamps! Shit, they better learn how to pray in school! Oh, give it a rest! They're fucking savages, dick! Hey, here's one now. The gods were right! You've come! Welcome to our peaceful land of plenty! What is he saying? This son of a bitch doesn't even speak American! Yes, I do. I said welcome. Ow! You prick! You shot me in the tentacle! No problem. It will grow back. Listen, I forgive you, brother. Carrying around the burden of hate is worse for me than those I despise. What on God's green earth is he saying? I don't know. Sound like some Tai Chi Chuan Fandango transvestite bullshit. I don't know. I was thinking the exact same thing. See, I recognize some of the words, but the sentiments seem simplistic and, well, foreign, if you will. I don't understand what anybody's saying. I just want to shoot. Enemies out there, boys. The enemies out there. No. The enemy's inside. Listen, guys, welcome. We've arranged a welcome party with a tequila slide. Good times. We'll get started with massages from attractive she-aliens. Then, after hand release, we'll You better stop trying to buy my men off with your women. Ditto. Yeah, I hate women. Oh, uh, sorry. We mean no offense. Listen, we really need your help. We are a loving, peaceful race. Last menstrual moon cycle, an evil race of aliens invaded and began imposing their will on us. They enslave many of my people, steal our natural resources with no-bid contracts while destroying our culture. Can you help? Oh no, here comes one of them now. What are you saying? Sharing scum. I was explaining to these manly space rangers how you've enslaved my people. Of course we have. You've got resources we need, and besides which, we are evil and greedy. <laughs> I like this little guy. He's speaking a lot of sense, know what I mean? Hey, you wanna go bass fishing? Man, what's he saying? My god, you are a fucking moron. Listen, you two, please. These evil aliens are destroying our people and culture. You're weak. You deserve to suffer. He's got leadership skills on him, too. This little valor's incredible. Hey, Commander, awaiting your orders. Hell, our mission is clear as mud, boys. And I do not believe in any manner of deviation. Except, of course, for that one night in college when we had one too many wine spritzers. Are you calling me a deviant boy? No! No, 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 no! Therefore, we must travel through space, meet strangers, and kill them good! For democracy and liberty! Hurrah! But I can give you wisdom! And I can make you rich! Alright, I've heard enough of this shit! You know the drill, fellas! No, no, no! Uh, no! Get them! Yeah! <laughs> That'll teach that son bitch what shocking all means. You did a great job, boys. I'm proud of you. Oh, damn it, dick! I told you no bopping the baloney in outer space! Sorry, Commander, but this soldier is unable to stop thinking about your warm, hairy embrace! Republican Space Rangers! Republican Rangers of Space! Oh, shit. Uh, wait. God damn it! When primitives light years away threaten their way of life, the Republican Space Rangers will be there to make sure democracy wins again. Republican Space Rangers. 
Meet John Hunter. As a state senator, he voted to close down all schools in Liberty City and give the money saved directly to drug addicts. John Hunter wants to be your governor, but he hates our troops so much, he wants them to cut and run and come home cowards. John Hunter has lost an erection more than once and disappointed his wife much in the same way he'll disappoint you. And he definitely has hair plugs and lifts. Call John Hunter. Tell him that comb over's not fooling anyone, you short-ass bald bastard. It's just like your policies, thin on top and short of ideas. Paid for by Michael Graves for Governor. He says, she says, he says, shut up. The women of Dazzletown show their true nature in Vinewood Cunts, only on Weasel. You're late to see your therapist. You're in a hurry. You've had a couple of martinis at lunch. Then someone or something gets in the way. What do you do? Leave the scene? Head for the border? Not with Vig Insurance. Now you don't have to worry. Call one of our claim representatives immediately, and we'll deal with the law. Silence any victims before uncomfortable litigation can happen. We insure against drunk driving, accidental gun discharge, and narcotics violations. Big insurance, because freedom equals peace of mind. Weasel Wednesdays heat up next season with vacation home sluts. Don't miss it on Weasel. All next week, it's patriotism at its finest as Weasel revisits history with the non-stop terror marathon. Back-to-back -back docudramas blaming liberals for everything. Only on Weasel. Last week, we brought you the greatest victory in the history of televised card gambling mayhem. Five men looking with disgust at each other as their women look on in envy from the sidelines. It's like a sixth grade circle jerk, Malcolm. Hey, that's right. And with that, welcome back to the Venturas Poker Challenge in association with Cerveza Baracho. Because when you've got a full house, it's playtime! And E. Cola, because gambling is deliciously infectious. I'm Malcolm Fitzherbert. And I'm Troy Berger. Uh, Troy, this is the biggest payday in sports. Next to convincing a city to give you a stadium and land tax-free. Or when your city gets the Olympics. Oh, that's right. I mean, seriously, what can you say about what we've seen so far? Well, Malcolm, it's been a real... Well, what I'm... I'm just at a loss for words. Yeah. I mean, seriously, it is just a tough time describing this. And, you know, I am paid to avoid uncomfortable silences. <laughs> it, it's been truly remarkable. This is entertainment at its finest. This is sport at its best. This is human drama at its most humane and dramatic. Cocksure Chris Cummings is going home a millionaire. And you know how he did it? By day after day, risking his future, betting on a whim, putting everything he owned on the line for a lie. If that's not a metaphor for life, I don't know what is. Chris moved here from San Piero, says he likes moving to a desert with a faceless suburb stretch on for a hundred miles. You can get a McMansion, cheap, and there won't be any water left in five years. <laughs> well, you said it, Malcolm. Okay, just minutes ago, cocksure Chris Cummings pulled a bluff on Ace's high fruit loop and sent the whole place insane! Lunacy! Five people died! Bet it all, don't play it safe, and go home a winner. Wow, the Poker Dome rules. Guys covered with logos wearing sunglasses indoors. I mean, these athletes are incredible. They're here for one thing, to win a shiny bracelet that says they're number one. Call it honky bling, but every man wants it. You know, every time I see Steve Buffet Karjabowicz play, I am amazed at the agility of the man. I am terrified of the wisdom, and I am fascinated by the bubbling undercurrent of sexuality. What? Uh, can you take your hand off my leg? What I guess I'm saying is, uh, when that man rides the river, that river knows it's been ridden. The Venturas Poker Challenge! Hey, wait, 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 he's thinking. What's Jebowitz going to do? What's in store for the buffet car? I am not sure. Uh, you think he's got pocket rockets? Because, you know, pocket rockets take out a pair of whores. Oh, they sure do, Troy. Man, I'm so excited I could pee! Now, keep quiet. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Cummings is looking at his cards. 
This is a huge moment. Unbelievably Ooh. big. That man is all about the flock. Oh, fantastic. Ooh. I cannot believe that. Wow. He's folded. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You just saw history here tonight. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> the crowds are going ballistic here in the desert. Hey, that's what it's all about. That and smoking and drinking yourself into an early grave. Hey, let's take a quick break. This break is brought to you by Sprunk, because commercials are the essence of life. And Cherenkov, because commercials warm you to the core. Uh-oh, here comes Michael Graves with more of his negative attack ads. But let's stick to the facts and move past these pathetic politics of division and swift boating. Fact. Michael Graves spent taxpayer money on a vacation home in the Philippines where young boys speak in lisps and don't wear pants. Michael Graves says he supports family values, but his wife is a harlot and has aborted five children. Maybe Michael Graves has forgotten the tragic events a few years ago, but we haven't. He wants to end the war on terror and make America and your children vulnerable to terrorists, much like those little boys are vulnerable to him. You have a choice come election day. Choose freedom for your state. Vote John Hunter for governor. The future depends on you making the right decision. A special night, a special man. Coming in three weeks, it's the Crow Reunion in Iran. Whoa, this is more exciting than chatting with a teen girl online. I'm completely engorged. Welcome back to the Venturas Poker Challenge. While you were away, you missed something ridiculous. The poker gods were smiling on dangerous Derek Thornton just now. He took the sport in a whole new direction. Yeah, that's right. Earlier, we spoke with Derek, and he said his typical day, he wakes up around 3 p.m., plays poker online for a few hours, goes to the bar with friends, comes home ass-faced, and does the whole thing again the next day. He's never read a book. Seeing that, people from around the country have flocked here to come and train for this sport. You know, Troy, what we're doing here is illegal in most states of the Union. But what happens in Las Venturas stays in Las Venturas, except when you're donating blood or semen to fuel a poker addiction. But before we forget, this section of the show is presented in association with Release Gum, because you chew, you suck, then pow, life has shot a load in your mouth. And Pill Farm, because when the cards go against you, it's time to swallow, and it's good for you. You know, I don't know about you, Malcolm, but I am just amazed at the endurance of these serious athletes. We've been playing for hours now and no sign of fatigue. Oh, that's absolutely right, Troy. 21-year-old Butch Roberts, former manager of Rusty Brown's Ring Donuts, may now win a bracelet here tonight and be able to buy himself a whole chain of donut shops to be run by foreigners because we're too lazy. Exactly. It's the fitness level of our biggest stars that make poker the incredible sport it has become. Example, Jennifer Trashcan Zelensky. She's been sitting there for hours now and no sign of tiredness. A cosmetics clerk from Nebraska, she's barren and instead has adopted eight children from Venezuela, all of whom are here tonight, except for her adopted son, Jimmy, who is gay. Well, she's one tough lady. I bet her pants smell like daisies. And how? Uh, wait, she's going to put it all in, just like she's seen a pair of cowboys to ride. I tell you, that last round, she won it with a handful of doggy balls. Oh, she sure did. Those eights will kill you. Terry Kim, the destroyer, he has not budged. Fit as a fiddle. The guy smokes three packs of Redwoods, drinks a cocktail every five minutes, but still, he keeps on coming relentless. I mean, that kind of luck is what a serious training program can do to you. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're not men. They are not women. No. They are gods. His wife and mistress both looking on from the sidelines. Hey, wait. Oh, my God! Oh, mercy! Remember the date. Remember the time. Remember where you were sitting when you saw this. And for those new to our sport, where have you been? It is all on this next three cards. Or the one after. Or the one after that. Yes, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, we've had it all here tonight. Quite, uh, qu quite amazing.
It's a three! It's a three! It's a three! <laughs> Amazing! That doesn't help anyone. The oh, next card is coming up. Oh, <laughs> this tension is killing me. Me too. Uh, man, watching other people play cards is so exciting. Yes. Uh, uh, Terry Kim has such a poker face. The pros at this sport measure themselves as to how many chips they have right now. It's like a whorehouse. You can be dealt something that you carry with you all your life. After seeing this, I don't need to live anyway because I have seen it all tonight. You know, I have a small pair, but I talk a good game. Ooh, here comes the turn. It, it, it's, 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 oh, oh, wow. oh my wow. god. Wow. It's the nine of clubs. <laughs> you know, he could have gotten an ace or a queen. Oh, yeah, he sure could have. Or even a, a seven or a two. Oh, true, true. Uh, but the devil wears nines tonight. Mm. <laughs> it's nine steps to heaven for Phil Deadman Davidson, if he gets the next card. That's right. It's all in the river. Oh, this this is what we live for. Wow, luck has really shined on cocksure Chris Cummings. The rest of these guys should really think about killing themselves, because when you lose at poker on TV, life is the pits. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, my God. And that's all we have time for here in Venturis. This has been a Jeremiah TV production in association with Shark Credit Cards, because this show has been extortionate value and love me because we've made you whole again. For all of us at the Venturis Poker Challenge, bet it all, don't play it safe, and go home a winner. How will you know if terror is about to win? A terror alert this afternoon in Liberty City. An awesome, terrible tragedy tonight in the South Slope section of Brooklyn. Weasel News, the news Liberty City trusts. Are you a sex offender? Find out tonight. Ethnics are at it again. Weasel News is on the scene, hovering at a safe level in our chopper. The best in political news and analysis. Today, President Lawton suspended habeas corpus and saved freedom. That's excellent. And Weasel Chopper 4. If someone's in trouble or on fire, the Weasel News Chopper is there on top of the action. Sir, you there on fire. Could you face the camera, please? Hard-hitting stories, attractive news anchors with great hair, self-consciously multicultural with racist undertones. It's the Weasel News Team. Anchors Cindy Shiny, Charles Justice, meteorologist Artie Schneider, street reporter Sheila Hatano, and Kenny Lapolano with the sports. We call it News. Your team for the war on terror, the weather, and sports. Weasel News. Recorded live from the capital of the world, Liberty City, the famous Split Sides Comedy Club invites you to light up and bring the love to the comedy club where the drinks ain't cheap. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Cat Williams. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Liberty City. Woo this is great. It's great. I've never, never been here before. It's my first time. It's a visitor to Liberty City. This is amazing. The speed and the pace in which this city works. Went on a mini adventure today. I got up, got dressed, got my swagger right, had my bravado, and I decided I'm going to cross a Liberty City street Slowly. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Everything moves so fast here. Why are people moving so... I, a homeless man ran past me. Where could he possibly be fucking going? He could lay down and be home. Immediately. Just lay down and be home. But he was speeding past me. Furious pace. Everything's so fast here in Liberty City. It's crazy. It's crazy. Your gas prices are too high. $69 a gallon, a bit ridiculous. My car cost about $72. Let's try to get it back in focus. People don't speak here in Liberty City. I don't know. It's like they're scared to be shot or something. It's like I, I spoke all day. Hey, how are you? Nothing. Good looking at you, ma'am. Nothing. Hello, officer. Nothing. It's a crazy city. I'm enjoying it, though. It's very exciting. A lot of options here. A lot of options in Liberty City. You can get whatever you want. You like pussy? Of course you do. It's here. In Liberty City, some of the best I've ever had. I'll tell you that. You know pussy's good when, you, when you're inside of it and you're thinking about other things other than sex. Like things like, wow. Wow. I love gingerbread cookies. When you're thinking that in the pussy, that's when you know it's good shit. The best weed in the world, maybe right here in Liberty City. 
I was so high earlier today, I had a complete discussion with myself in the mirror, <laughs> threatening, threatening. I couldn't believe I'd snuck up on me like that and I was furious about it. You ever had weed so good that you get stuck? You know, stuck. Stuck like when you need to leave, you want to leave, you got to leave, but you can't fucking go. Stuck. That's what you find here in Liberty City. You've got everything. The greatest basketball team. Who's fucking with the Liberty City Warriors? It's crazy. I remember there used to be a guy who played as good as the guy you guys got, but he didn't want to pass the ball. He never passed the ball. And so the rest of the team was just up and down. Just They were physically fit, but never scored any points. This selfish bastard. They're just chasing him down the court. Just... <sighs> I'm open. Nothing. Nothing. Liberty City's got a, a team made out of warriors. You need that. You need a strong, you need a strong team. You, have, you gotta be strong anyway. This is a weak world. You come to Liberty City, you can get strong in this weak world. I know it's weak. I started out weak. I wasn't always tall like this, but <laughs> you used to be short. There's a lot going on when you're short. People lie to you. My parents looked me directly in the eyes and told me, out of a shadow of a doubt, eat all your vegetables, Drink your milk, you'll grow up big and tall. Lying son of a bitch. You know how many vegetables I ate? Hmm? Any idea? You know how much milk I consumed? I should be the size of a cow. Why am I not the size of a cow? I drank the same thing the fucking cow drank. Still short. You know I was short because I, I, I wore one pair of jeans probably five years through school. Five. You could tell how old I was because of the ring where I would cuff it and then let the cut out a, a quarter of an inch. I grew a quarter of an inch and I'd let it out and there'd be that other line. And then, yeah, I'm not depressed. I'm just saying. If you got short kids at home, go home and kiss them because it's terrible. Thank you. Good night. It's coming back to Weasel. Another season of the Weasel history drama, Homo Erectus. Science meets forbidden love. Only on Weasel. 80 sitcom star and a passenger are paralyzed in what police say is part of a reality show. We're live on the scene. You just can't help getting sucked in on the way down. The number one rated reality show is coming back for another season. Waning with the Stars, the show where we follow formerly big celebrities on their way down. See ordinary contestants paired with Death Wish drug addled celebrities to see who hits the skids first and how far they slide. Remember Sharice McCormick? She was on the most popular sitcom of the 80s. Now she's on a serious bender, reduced to shooting skin flicks for crack. And you'll see contestants try to keep up as they freebase, get into high-speed chases, and surf internet porn with 80s professional wrestler, The Grinder. Five contestants, one fading dream, a ton of alcohol and drug abuse. Enjoy watching once smug celebrities who have hit rock bottom stay there. Waning with the stars, a new season coming soon on Weasel.